Hello everybody, this is Catfish Games, and welcome back to War Thunder with another replay video, because I have a tendency for some reason to get really good games while I'm not recording, and get horrible games while I'm not, well, I am recording, so, oh well. Uh, this thing, uh, I was, <laughs> this match I was using the Churchill, and it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good match overall. I stood at the top of the scoreboard for for a little while, I would say. And, well, it's Tunisia with the single caps profile. And I actually got stuck there for a moment. And actually, let's go to two. First off, we got some. Uh, we got a heavy tank brigade leading the charge here with this group. Already some mediums in front. But then we, I noticed this dead tank on the left uh, in front. And I saw that guy fire at the Avenger. And, well, I decided to get in the fray, and I was like, that's probably KV-2, but... It was an SMK, and I did not really expect it to be an SMK. First off, I disabled the top, uh, top gunner. I just take the for hit from the 45. Really easily. And knock out the screw. That was the first kill. It's a pretty good match overall. And I have no idea what this Cobra guy decided, well, Cobra King or Jumbo user decided to do, but he decided to face plant into a building. Then I decided to get some smoke pop because smoke is, especially on the Churchill, it's amazing. You get 20 smoke grenades and you're going to be absolutely invisible most of the time. And I absolutely adopt that thing. And I don't know why, but I missed that KV-1 right there. But, because he did end up shooting me right, like, right here. He, like, I did notice him, he, he just bounced, and I was like, what? So I was like, oh, let's rotate back. This took, actually took a while, while, let's go. Two forwards, you don't even notice the two forward speed there. It's just because it was so slow. I was like, oh, hello. And... Well, first taking out the loader and gun breach. And then knocking out the crew in front. Finishing them up. Also guys, I do have a new sound bot installed. So, I have some different sounds that you would normally hear. And I was actually, this was pretty cool. And I have no idea why is that guy up there. Okay, that's a blind hunt that's going on. Not so here those explosions are actually actually a bit better than the original in-game files. And then I suddenly noticed a random T-34, of which I thought it was a 57, uh, like a 85, but it was just a, a four, uh, 57. Cool, again eliminated him before really doing anything else, and the Avenger is back. And here I decided to do a smoke charge towards that KV-1 because I noticed up the KV-1 and I was like, oh, let's charge in. That guy popped a little bit in behind me. Smoke charge is actually pretty effective. We're at the Avenger coming in behind us. And he just like charged up beyond us. And now we stopped smoking. And he got one shot at by a Stuke 3 right there. And I actually sh uh, instantly destroyed that thing. Ricocheted off the Stuke, and I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna move her up towards the right using the smoke. Gonna speed up a little bit towards 2 speed because this is was a pretty slow maneuver actually. And I actually see that this two was actually destroyed, but it was a second stook. Didn't really matter anyways, but like I saw the tank, I was like, okay, where exactly is he? So I popped into the smoke, uh, went to like right, uh, right mouse button, hold it to get uh, the commander's view. 
Where it actually really helps in combination with smoke because you'll be closer inside the smoke. No, it's but I saw an Oswind. Immobilized him. Gunner was still alive though. He did take out my track, but after I actually it was an o Oswind. That was actually horrible. Oh well. Knocked out the 122 as well. Pretty funny enough, the actual, like, that adventure, you actually, like, called me out for being a bad, uh, player. Because I let him die while, while we were charging, but he, sh uh, he tried to cover, tried to get behind me, but he got shot. Like, oh well. That's why I kind of was, like, mm, typing here. I was waiting for the smoke to clear as well. Decamax shot down the M4A2. And I spotted him, so... Boop. And that was a really weird bounce, but I did get his engine, so he got immobilized. Oh, well, immobilized, he, technically you can still move, but... Like, you can only use gravity to propel yourself, so... A third shot knocked him out. Uh, and that was pretty much it for the, most of the match. Well, there actually was one more moment, like, I kind of waited here a little bit. Tried to get the shot off at the t uh, 54 57, tried to bait him into actually firing at me, stuff like that. Uh, then I noticed that A was being capped, so I was like, oop, I'm gonna turn around. And we're gonna go back to here. And I spotted a KV-1. And I just invited him to sh start shooting at me. Because I knew that he could not possibly pan me, but I could pan him in this situation. So I, I had the upper hand here. Yeah, but then he took out my barrel, so I had to take cover a little bit. And this is actually something that also gave me quite a bit of score. Here it went, 31 score, like 30 score actually for just bouncing that shell. But then he was like, before, or just before I could like kill him. So like I was still rearing and then when the gun got up, he just got killed before I could fire sadly. By that fat jumbo. <laughs> but by then the match was pretty much done. But it was it was fun match. I really love the add-on armor plates for the uh, Churchill. Even though they can be shot off, basically if you hit them. Uh, as you can see here, armor. They do add. Uh, 17 millimeters of extra armor on top of the already pretty thick 152 millimeters plate, and it makes and um, because this star part right here is slightly angled because at flat ground you can basically get 160, so just a 160, and this guy's like one a 170 pretty much for a single hit. You only have this weak spot right here, or basically a hull. The bottom plate, even though it's like 160 off itself as well, it did get a huge plate. And this thing right here, which actually was a, it's actually a weak spot against high caliber HE rounds, gets protected by the 20 millimeter track here as well. That just detonates the shell and prevents it from getting through, especially with the 20, two more 20 millimeter pieces of track. So I do occasionally get penetrated in the frontal plate right here, but this thing hull down is almost impenetrable at its BR. And that's why I do like it, uh, like comparing it to the Jumbo itself. Jumbo gets the 177mm turret and slightly better mobility, but like it does come with some weak, like it does have the 152mm plate right here. This Call so kind of ignorant, but you sometimes get penetrated by some Russians heavy like 85 millimeter shells through this top section, or you got the MG port. Uh, yeah, and this thing also has like less side armor. This thing in return has slightly more mobility, 
but this gun actually this gun goes up to uh, 143 with APCR and 143 is probably that one that's probably one the one you want to use but a Churchill comes with the 110 sh uh, AP shell as max ammo so I kind of gonna say that the overall the jumbo is slightly better it does have like like 140 41 like this would you call that a weak spot at 141 as a weakest area like this goes over 200 and even though you guys might say wait what is this plate well there's a second one 179 of its base and then another 55 as an add-on plate sure why not I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> and this turret is also like 152 all round. So in hold on position, this is 152 all round. Well, the Churchill actually only comes with 95.25 on the sides and rear. And the even the adult place, even though it covers the entire right side, it doesn't cover the entire left side. And actually, does it does is like it does have a slightly asymmetrical shape, but oh well. But in return, the Churchill does get the 20 smoke rounds. And believe me, those smoke rounds are amazing. <laughs> like, in return, like, the Jumbo does have, like, it has less charging capability. Because if you want to use smoke, you have to use it in your main ammo. So you have to switch out from your APCR shell to a simple smoke shell. I mean, yes, you can use the 110 AP round on this thing as well. It works similarly to the Churchill's round then. Because of the way, just like overall, the gun works and the AP shells work. But overall, I'd probably take the 143 APCR, which I actually have not unlocked yet. They don't even have the freaking FPE. And it's a tier 3 research, so it will take a little while. Yeah, this thing does have the weak spot of around 100 millimeters of armor overall like you will not because of the way it's built like you even though it's just 65 you won't get like straight up like the 63 to 65 armor armor but 100 armor 100 millimeter is penetrable because even this thing even has an under tier like underpowered gun but it's still capable of penetrating and this thing actually 350 millimeters little piece right there Extremely thick. It does not have any like secondary armor inside here though. It's just this is just a plate and that's it. And well, if you have some heavy rounds, like some heavy AP, like HE rounds, you might be able to just like bounce it into this part right here. And that's something you have to watch out for. And like the church will have less. It doesn't have weak spots overall. Well, okay, it has. Like 102 plus 25 piece right here, but it's pretty hard to hit. And like, you come already come with the two uh, stage things you have to penetrate room. And overall, that ha it is sometimes a little bit bouncy. Like 127 here, it's not really that much of a weak spot. I only got killed by it once by a T2485. I mean, this thing does have the 127 turret ring. Well, well, this thing does not have a third ring at all. You don't really even notice it because of this little piece of armor as well. And this thing also being a little bit of armor. You just do not really have that third ring. And the third ring, like, anyways, would be this pretty thick 152 cause piece of steel. So that doesn't really even matter, anyways. So, yeah, like, since I got them both. What what do you think, guys think? Which one is better, Jumbo or George Hill? Overall, comment down below if you see any tanks. As always, if you that you wanted me to try out. So overall, just going over trees here. You can pause for a little moment to see which ones I have. And yeah, that's really it, guys. Thank you all for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys.